Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart these battery chargers. Found them on garbage day, unfortunately they don't work. And they are extremely heavy and a great source of scrappable material. They have a nice big lead battery inside that is worth scrap value. Some brass, some aluminum, some copper, and very easy to take apart. So what I want to do today is open them up show you how to identify the material, separate it properly, and more importantly, maximize your profit and divert as much of these away from the landfill as possible. And given the fact that they all have a lead-based battery, increasingly more important to divert it from the landfill, not allowing those batteries to get into our water system or the dump. Uh, so glad that I was able to find these. The eliminators are exactly the same. I actually found those at one place and this one at a different place. So again, I'm gonna open them. Uh, I've already started to take this one apart. Very easy to do so. There are some screws in the back. The first part, the back panel of this, if I was to remove just to turn it, this back compressor part does have this little apparatus. Inside you can see a small copper bearing motor there, a little bit of cast aluminum, some clean aluminum right there, a heat sink. That clean aluminum right now in London is going, London, Ontario is going for about 50 cents a pound. Some cast aluminum here is going for about 25 cents a pound Canadian. Uh, these motors are actually going as is for about 30 cents a pound in London, Ontario, so Canadian. And because of the size of this motor, I don't actually take the time to take those apart to get out the copper. They do come in other sizes like this. You will find a lot of these little ones, especially on things like CD players, and other electronics and in my opinion aren't worth opening up uh, cracking that uh, tin off there to get that little armature out of it so I will throw these into a bag I have a bag of about 30 pounds already so they do add up for sure some people will open them to get that little bit of copper that copper would be number two copper going for four dollars and sixty cents a pound but again very small armature uh, so in my opinion again it depends on size Depends on how many you have, depends on timing, uh, but these will go into a bag for me. But still, nevertheless, going to get some scrap value for these. So I will take this apart later. Unfortunately, the casing here is plastic. Some places, especially where I live, do not take plastic at scrapyards. Uh, some of my viewers have commented, especially out east, Newfoundland and areas like that, scrapyards will pay for scrappable plastic off of different appliances and electronics. So that is excellent that they are able to get some money for that and divert it from the landfill. Here in southwestern Ontario, if this is non-recyclable, -re uh, uh, it is thick, so I will throw it into my um, recycle bin. But if it's not, unfortunately, it will be going to the landfill. So I really hope that the province of Ontario and other provinces get on board with taking this plastic and helping reduce it going to the landfill and setting up some type of recycle program for that. But either way, some great scrap there. Something better than nothing. Opening this case up, just plastic, I've already done so. You can see right here, this is very heavy. This is a sealed lead acid battery. And currently in London, Ontario, these are going for about 20 cents a pound. This is heavy. If I was to put it on a scale, I have a scale right here, just to see how much this one weighs. I'm gonna say about 10 pounds. Uh, yep. Yeah. Nine and a half, ten pounds. So there we go. Ten pounds right there. Again, glad that I was able to divert this from the landfill. So I have 20 pounds right here, a little one in here. Okay. These are the same categories as your car batteries, uh, boat, RV, tractors. Uh, and you do need to separate these from your regular alkaline household batteries. I just actually called the scrapyard in London, Ontario, and they said they will take household batteries for free. Um, so they can recycle them, but they are not worth scrappable value. In Sarnia, Ontario, where I take a lot of my other stuff, they will actually give you five cents a pound for all of your alkaline batteries, household batteries. So your double Ds, your Cs, your As, your Bs. So that is great. I'm at least able to get some scrap value there. And it does go to show that you do want to call scrapyards, uh, figure out prices, figure out what they take or what they don't take. Um, so at least the one in London will take them to recycle them if that is uh, definitely the only possibility for you. But again, being able to take this to London for 20 cents, I'm going to get more in London for this, for this one, but five cents a pound in Sarnia, better than for free.
But both places, definitely great that we can recycle those and you definitely want to make sure you can. Other options are dropping them off at recycle depots or electronic depots. They will also take batteries free of charge, uh, you know, avoiding them going into the garbage. So great possibility there as well. You definitely want to look around and see your best option. But again, two of these very heavy batteries. Okay, the rest of this very small stuff here. I've got a small little compressor or sorry, transformer box here that I'm gonna have to take out. Okay, a little bit of plastic, small circuit board, okay? But again, very small little items that I need to take out. Just going to see if I can get out this little transformer. Okay, I'm gonna just unscrew it. There's a little bit of tin on here, a little bracket. Hopefully this will pop out. Okay, a nice little booster pack, but really not much in these things, which is kind of a good thing when you're scrapping or taking it apart. Okay, but a lot of great scrappable material. Okay, so just gonna pull this out. Okay, so here's a nice little charger. I also have a lot of nice appliance wire in here. Okay, so this little backup here, AC adapter you see here, does have some prongs on it. If I crack this open, there is gonna be a small transformer that has copper, okay? Very, very tiny. It's gonna look something along the lines of this, this is just off of a circuit board, but very small like this. So there is some copper spool in that, okay? But this is very light, okay? And I am gonna open these up um, on a different video, just take a hammer to it. There is gonna be some rubber or plastic around this. So it does take a little bit of work, but there is copper inside of this, okay? Little bit of transformer. The wire here, I do want to address the um, prongs that you have here. Just gonna cut this wire. Okay, and you do have to be careful with these. If I was to cut these, you can see inside of that, there is the metallic look. And that means that these heavy wires are actually aluminum. If I was to cut this and it was gonna be copper all the way through, so you wouldn't see any metallic, it would have been copper. And that would make this actually a very nice example of 40% uh, or sorry, 60% appliance wire and that would currently be going for $2.63 a pound. However, because that is aluminum, again, you can see the metallic look, this you don't want to throw into your appliance wire because you will get downgraded for sure. You can throw this into dirty aluminum, um, or you could also just leave this on here. You can see if I put a magnet to these prongs, they are magnetic. So I'm actually just gonna leave it on, throw this into my tin, and tin right now is actually going for 10 cents a pound in Sarnia, 14 cents a pound Canadian in London, Ontario. So it does depend on places. Both prices, excellent. I actually just went to the scrap yard the last two days. First load was 720 pounds of tin. Second load was 440 pounds of tin. So great items in two days. Did not take me a long time to build up weight and I did get some pretty good money for that. So tin, definitely a good price. So these are tin. You do wanna check, I have seen some that are actually copper. Um, if I put a magnet to it, obviously copper is non-magnetic. You would have to scratch it to reveal. So don't get fooled just because these teeth here look like copper, okay? Put a magnet to it and they do reveal the, mag the uh, metallic look. As well, if I was to scratch it like this with a file, okay, you can see it does reveal the metallic look. Copper would not do that. So unfortunately, these are gonna be tin, okay? But the rest of this, once I remove this little bit here, this is gonna have a little bit of stuff. This prong especially, there is gonna be some brass, okay, on the circuit board. Uh, as well, the little wire that you have in here, this is gonna be an example of my 60% um, appliance wire, which is higher value. And that's what I want to address with this item, okay? Whomever threw this out did cut the cord off the back. You can see the cord there. And this is the example of the cord, okay? So if I was to bring this one up to the camera, you can see two strands of copper there, one coating of plastic. So this is an example of 60% appliance wire and is currently going in London, Ontario for $2.67 a pound. So an excellent item. There is almost a pound here. I have a huge bag of it, okay? And you do wanna separate it from your 
Okay, so good examples of your 60% like this are different appliances like lamps are a great item that have this value, different electronics, okay? Your 40%, good examples of that would be uh, vacuum cleaners, microwaves, dehumidifiers, anything that has an outer coating of plastic as well as inner copper that have coatings on them, okay? So two layers of, of plastic, less copper recovery. So there's your 40%, okay? And I did make the mistake when I first started out putting it all together and separating it uh, the day that I went to the scrapyard. It took me hours. So make sure you have separate bags. Definitely want to, you know, get that separate and get the higher value for the 60%. Okay, so great item here. This one, last couple of things. I just need to remove the small little screws. There are two screws off of here or bolts. The nice thing about this shell is this shell is actually all tin. So that's great. There's no plastic on this thing. Okay, so the screws are a little bit rusted, but I'm just gonna pull the plate off of here. And notice inside this one, oh, that's not good. Okay, some more tin, a little bit of brass on my on and off switch you see here. You can see, just turn that. There's a little bit of brass in that one. But look at the nice copper windings in there, that transformer. Okay, very beautiful transformer here. This is gonna be number two copper. And again, this copper is going for $3.62 a pound, or sorry, $4.62 a pound right now. So copper continues to be our scrapper's gold. So again, sorry, $4.62 Canadian. Okay, there is gonna be some great copper there. Transformers, awesome item. And I do have a video on transformers. Uh, and I am gonna include that in the link um, down there. There are different types of transformers, but these are very easy to take apart. Uh, there is just a weld that you're gonna have to hit. This will pop off, um, you know, and then the copper spools will come out, but beautiful copper there. I will also include at the bottom of my video how much copper came out of that, okay? But this transformer, another option, and I recommend you taking it apart because they're very easy to do. But there is a category for transformers at scrapyards. It's about for aluminum or for copper, copper, uh, and it depends on what you have because some of them will be aluminum, copper, some of them will be copper, copper, like this one is, some of them will be aluminum, aluminum. So you do want to scratch them, make sure that they don't reveal the metallic look underneath. Okay, so if I scratch these, just gonna show you, and I'm gonna say, just given the age of this thing, it's gonna be copper, look at that one. So there's my copper look. This one, if I can get to it. Okay, there too is copper. You can see that too. So both of these are copper. So gonna be definitely worth taking it apart. Even if one of these strands was copper, I would still take it apart because the copper is gonna be a lot more than your transformer price. Uh, but transformers are valued depending on the type of metal on them. Uh, at the scrapyard as well. I think copper to copper is uh, 25 cents a pound. Uh, aluminum, aluminum is seven cents. So better than nothing, but at seven cents a pound for aluminum windings, you're better to throw it into your tin and get the 10 to 14 cents a pound. So a couple different things. You do want to weigh out your options or what's best to scrap, how to separate it properly. But if these were aluminum, throw it into your tin because you're going to get more for that. But these, because they're copper, definitely going to get that copper. Here too, here again is some more of my 60% appliance wire that I have here that I'm gonna get that um, $2.62 for, okay? As well, the rest of this tray is tin, okay? So that is awesome. This whole thing is actually scrappable. So none of this is actually going to the landfill. It also has right here, just on the edge, you put a magnet to it, a lot of cobwebs, but that is an aluminum heat sink. So there again is some more clean aluminum at 50 cents a pound. Some brass prongs there. Those yellow brass prongs you see where my finger is. Yellow brass right now and coated brass is actually going for $3.30 a pound, or $3.25 a pound in London, Ontario. So Canadian money as well. So brass is another great item that you will get from different items. Uh, I also actually cut off the yellow brass like that from my wires. I have a bin for brass and I will throw those in there just like my prongs from different cords. Some people will leave these on for the weight. I take those off and I will throw them into my brass. 
But again, 100% scrappable, so that's awesome. These ones, as I said, just the outer shell is going to be plastic. But again, these ones, great, great lead-based battery. You do want to check your wires. And don't assume that all wires, just because I showed this, are going to be uh, aluminum. There are definitely some that are copper inside of it. And if it was copper, I would actually take the time, because that is thicker winding, I would remove the outer coating and get that as number two copper. But because this is aluminum, I'm actually just going to throw it into my tin with my prongs, okay? But I am going to get this out of the landfill, out of the water system, and 20 cents a pound. So awesome, awesome items. Very easy to take apart. You do find them quite often on garbage day, as well as batteries. I have found boat batteries and lawnmower batteries, especially in the spring. People are throwing them out for spring cleanup. They realize they don't work or they don't hold a charge anymore. So you do find them. And it is unfortunate when we see them going into the landfill or the garbage. So glad I was able to divert these away from the landfill as best I can. Get some scrap value. Uh, and just another example that you can find anything and everything on garbage day. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Please comment down below. As I said, I will put the copper weight from that transformer as well as how to open transformers because there are different ones in my link or description below in the link. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.